Hey, my friend, I want to encourage you. If you're going through a hard time right now because of the the way the world is right now, maybe you're watching the news a little too much. Some people don't watch it at all. They have their head buried in the sand. That's not good either. And some people only watch like MSNBC, which is just that one side. And then some people only watch Fox News or Daily Wire, which is the other side. But you need to be watching all of it and praying about when you watch it. Don't watch it all the time, but do watch the news. Do read your Bible. More importantly, read your Bible. Do pray every day. You know, one of the best things you can do is when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you do before your feet hit the carpet or the hardwood floors, whatever you have, the first thing you do, what I do, this helps me anyway, and I heard pastors say this, sit up on the edge of your bed, start praying. Pray to God. Thank Him. Start out by thanking Him for your life, your very breath that you're breathing. Thank Him that He loves you. Thank Him that He cares about you. and he, He's made a way for you through Jesus, His Son. He shed His blood for you. And He died on that cross, that horrible death. But yeah, He was raised from the dead. And you will be too. That's the promise. Thank Him for all of that, you guys. And then... What I do, and this really helps me, but right after all that, raise your hands up in the air and ask him, please fill me with your Holy Spirit. Even if you don't fill it, God does that. He'll fill you with his spirit and give you wisdom and help you through the day. And it's like God's pouring that olive oil into your, your soul and your heart to give you strength for the day. And then pray for your loved ones and your friends and even your enemies this helps me tremendously, you guys. It's made a huge difference in my life. And I'm saying it to you to help you too. Now, here's another thing you want to do. You also want to go to bed. You want to fall asleep in prayer. <laughs> so important. I had a friend named Fritz, this guy that used to work with me, a contractor, really older, a lot older guy. He was like, I think he was 83 when I first met him. But he used to talk about how he would pray himself to sleep every night. And he had a smile on his face. He said, it's the best way to go to sleep. And you know, I heard a story, he died not too long ago, and his son told me this. He said that his pastor was there on his deathbed. He said, old, you know, his name was Fritz, and Fritz was in a lot of pain, and he didn't want to let go. He kept holding on, and the pastor was praying for him, and his son was there, right there with him too, his son Rob, and Rob told me, the pastor said this as they were praying. He said, Fritz, it's okay. You can let go now. You know, he was like in this kind of a, almost like a coma state, but in pain. He was still, he wasn't really there, but he was fighting and he was in a lot of pain. And he said, as soon as he said that, you can go to heaven now, Fritz. It's okay. You can let go. He said that he went like this. And he died with a smile on his face. You see, he went to heaven to be with Jesus and his loved ones. It wasn't that beautiful. But that same man used to tell me this, go to bed praying. And Billy Graham said that too. He said, I like to go to bed praying. I seal myself in God. Seal myself with him. Talking to him as you fall asleep. And then wake up. Wake up and seal your day with him too, right? Like start your day off with him. End your day with him. That's part of having a relationship with God through Jesus Christ. Having a relationship is about that, that kind of a thing. And reading his word, but don't neglect that either. Read his word, all of it, the New Testament and old. It's all really one testament about Jesus and his, his plan to save you and save me, the Father and his plan and the Holy Spirit. So read the word, have fellowship with other believers, very important. You know, at least a couple times a week, you should be meeting with some other believers and praying with them. And uh, that's how you stay strong in the Lord as a believer. And I hope this helps you. And uh, hey, God bless you guys. I love you.